Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Buckle up, because we're in for a wild ride today. And uh, yeah, if you read the title, this isn't about my anxiety. It's something about completely something different. It's a good thing. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit about my anxiety, but, but in, a, in a weird way. What I want to talk to you guys about right now is why I always have these crazy things in my mind. You know, I tell you what, uh, I, I've kind of taken you guys on the journey of how my mind works and kind of what, in some ways, I feel like what's wrong with me, why I can't be content with one thing, right? Remember when I walked into this building here uh, two years ago and it was uh, completely empty and I told you what I wanted to do with the Reptarium. The walls need to be kind of redone a little bit. This needs to still get out of here. But there's the road that you guys will see, this, the kind of frontage and stuff. So what do you think, Laurie? And like I said, it obviously worked out well. You may remember when I walked into this building and it was a tattoo shop. And uh, it, this was, yeah, it looked a little bit different than that. Uh, and I told you what my vision was for this building. So guys, here it is. All these walls here and all these rooms here. And guys, I realize it's a mess here. We're gonna, the first thing we have to do is clean this place up. But this whole side here, all of these walls, all these rooms, everything on this side of the building is just gonna get knocked down. And obviously, it worked out. I love it. And don't get me wrong, guys. I am so content in life right now when it comes to the Reptarium and stuff like that. But there's still this thing that's wrong with my brain. Or maybe it's not wrong, but it's always thinking. And I always have to be engaged in something bigger, right? I have to always be kind of creating something and uh, it, it kind of drives me crazy in a sense so I want to walk you through what the next steps are in creating and uh, I can't wait I'm excited you're gonna need some imagination and some vision because just like the last couple times I told you about these places uh, it's a little bit rough uh, but I'm excited about it and it all started when we started to redo the podcast room So when things really got started down here, I wanted to do a really cool podcast and camera room, right? You know, the control room where we can put all our camera gear. It would be Jay Anthony and Noah's kind of office area down here too. So obviously I showed you that we started to renovate this area. This is the camera room here. Of course, these are the little windows that are going in. We're gonna be drywalling here in the next day or so. Uh, this is gonna start looking really different. That of course is the podcast room. But when we started to create it, I thought to myself, there's more, I wanna do more down here. You can see the basement, this is a wreck. So we're gonna need some uh, imagination and I'm gonna walk you through what's gonna happen here. And by the way, earlier today, I had uh, some more <laughs> electrical and stuff installed because I thought to myself, as this vision is coming through, I need this. So these are actually gonna be TVs here on both sides where I'm going to uh, allow people, well, let, before we get in, let's start back over here, okay? So I uh, went from going like, all right, we're gonna do a podcast room to saying, I want to redo this whole basement, right? So basically what's going to happen is that you'll walk down and this area here is going to be really pimped out. Wood floors, there's going to be a couch over here, a couch over here, a table over here. Of course, we're going to have the TV area. And what I'm thinking about doing is maybe offering like a, uh, a Reptarium podcast VIP option where maybe up to like six or eight people can actually come in, sit down here, hang out with us, watch the podcast live, then spend some time up at the Reptarium with us. Let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in doing that. Let's say on a Saturday night, maybe like a three or four hour event where, uh, you know, maybe got some pizza down here, some drinks, you know, stuff like that could be really cool. But regardless, this will be a really cool sitting area, i.e. the green room, right? And then that way we could be in the control room and doing the podcast, people can watch it live, really cool. So what we're gonna do is actually put a wall up right here, it's gonna go right down here. So this whole area will be that green sitting room, but the wall will be kind of, uh, actually it's gonna be like right on this side of the light, right here, right? So that this side here, which looks absolutely horrible, is gonna be a colubrid room, right? All our colubrid snakes and for hibernation. So I know this looks crazy. We got some racks down here. This is where we used to hibernate animals. We still will, but now we're gonna actually make this into a permanent room, right? So this wall will go here and it'll follow all the way down again. Use your imagination, all this junk will be out of here. Follow all the way down, and now we're actually going to have a wall this way. So inside here will be the Kluber room. The hallway goes like this, and then where this wall of cage art, there's another wall that goes down here.
here. So this is basically a hallway that you can walk in. Now you can walk into the Kluvert room here. But then there'll be a wall here. So the Kluvert room will be basically like an H, right? It's gonna be like this and this, and that's where all the Kluvert's room. Now this side here will also have a wall all the way here with the doorway right here that goes inside this room. Again, I know it's a disaster. My point is, is that that will be a new Caledonia gecko room for Jessica that we've been talking about. So we'll have two reptile rooms down here. New Caledonia, Kluber room where the Kluber's can stay and hibernate rather than moving them back and forth from BHB. Then we'll have the sitting area over here and, uh, and of course all this stuff. So a lot of work to do. This is all hopefully gonna be done over the next maybe you know six, eight weeks tops. And this basement is gonna look unbelievably incredible. I'm super excited about it. Uh, finally putting this to use and stuff like that. And you know, I just love being involved in projects and doing things and that what makes me think sometimes there's something wrong with me rather than being content and saying, hey, listen, let's just enjoy what we have. I've always got to be kind of going to the next thing. And with that said, not a day goes by that I don't think about Reptarium 3.0. But before we get into Reptarium 3.0, I actually have a pretty cool clutch of eggs that I want to cut. Let's throw some snakes up in here, right? So let's go ahead and cut that clutch. <laughs> Bam! You guys ready for an egg cutting? This is only three eggs. It's actually a lemon blast to a pewter lesser. That pewter lesser is the one that actually followed some of those purpley eggs. And the fact that it's a lemon blast, we could get similar animals with pinstripe in it this time. These guys have already pipped out and I can already see there's some really cool little heads in here. So let's jump into egg number one and see what actually is in here. Oh, this could be really, really good stuff. I mean, I am excited about this clutch. Even with three eggs, I'm still super excited about it. And right off the rip, ooh, whoa. Right off the rip, we hit something awesome. I think we hit the all gene animal right off the rip. I think this is a super pastel, a lesser, a pinstripe, and a cinnamon. Wow, that thing is gorgeous. And I tell you what, I can kind of peek into the second egg. Looks like the second egg might have the same type of thing, but I can't see 100%. So let's cut that one and see if we actually hit two of them out of the first two eggs. Kind of weird spot here, so I'm gonna just keep cutting kind of around and see what we got. And yep, it looks, ooh, this one's even more interesting. Cause this one hardly, doesn't have hardly any pattern on it at all. The whole thing just is kind of faded out, but it's the same genetically. So we hit two of the all gene animals out of two eggs. We got one egg to go. Wouldn't be crazy to hit three of them. Let's just go ahead and see what happens. Regardless, we crush the odds on this clutch. So let's go ahead and see what's in this third egg. There we go. What do we have? What do we have? Ooh, we have a pretty snake. It's not the all gene animal, but we did get the super pastel lesser cine. So this is the all gene animal minus the pinstripe. So we hit two of the all gene animals and one that had all the genes minus the pinstripe. So wow, I tell you what, the odds on this clutch were absolutely incredible. Uh, wow, that's awesome. Three eggs, but an awesome three eggs at that. Back to Reptarium 3.0. So obviously this is the BHB's offices. Uh, they will be gone. There'll be no more offices here. These walls will be blown out, everything here. The stairway that goes to the basement will actually be right in this office right here. So I'm excited about that. And uh, there's a lot to do, right? But again, all of BHB is gonna be gone. This will all be new Reptarium, right? So when you walk back here, again, there won't be a wall here. This is all gonna be enclosures, you know, just like Reptarium 1.0 or 2.0, but 3.0. So this entire area here, but again, the basement is the part that I'm probably the most excited about. Don't get me wrong, we could do some amazing enclosures. And remember, the Kluberts are gonna be gone because they're gonna be downstairs, right? And then we'll have to make space for all the other stuff. Working on that still don't have it all worked out. It's gonna be pretty amazing to have this part a part of the 3.0, right? So more enclosures, more animals, more experiences, crazy. But the basement is the one that I'm super excited about. And again, you need lots of imagination for what's gonna happen down here in the basement because it's definitely gonna look pretty different. The stairway will be right over here, coming down into the basement. But you know, the ceilings aren't that high down here. You guys know that. So the first thing I need to do is literally bust out the floor. I wanna dig this floor two foot deeper so that the ceilings are, instead of a little over seven foot, they'll be almost 10 foot. So we have a a lot more room here. But once you come down, I want most of the stuff down here to be aquatic. Again, RJ's tank will be gone out of here. He'll have an enclosure upstairs or somewhere else. And uh, we're gonna have three 25,000 gallon aquarium type units right here. One will be alligator, salt, pepper, where you can get in and swim with. The next one, 
big snake you can get in swim with. The last one going to be saltwater stingray fish you can get in and swim with. Going to be amazing experiences. On this wall here, we'll probably have more aquatic stuff, right? We want to have like a built-in touch tank where there could be like starfish and little fish and kids can actually touch them, feel them and stuff like that. We'll probably have salamanders, we'll have newts, maybe hellbenders, you know, all that type of stuff. Mainly aquatic down here. Maybe even some jelly tanks and some other piranha tank maybe potentially down here. But this basement is probably going to be the most expensive and wildest excursion I can do. But the fact is, is that like I think why does my brain work like this? Why can't I just go like, you know, things are great, I'm just going to stay where I'm at. And that could be a cause of some of my anxiety, quite frankly, too, is that my brain is always thinking adding more things to it. But at the same time, that's what makes me me, right? It's what's made me me my whole life. And I don't want to get rid of that because if I get rid of that, then I've got rid of the essence of who I am, right? So I want to somehow live life more in the moment, enjoying things, being content, but also aspire to do things that are really part of my dream. And this would be an amazing dream. Yes, there is a ton of work. Will this happen anytime in the next six months? I don't know. I think by this time next year, all of the things I've talked about will actually have come to fruition and will be open and ready to rock. You know what I mean? So I'm actually excited about it, but I just sometimes have to share this experience with you guys and uh, let me know what you guys think. Is there something wrong with me? Should I not be wired the way I am? I don't really know about it, but you know, as I'm kind of waking up out of this anxiety mess that I've been in over the last four or five months, I'm starting to feel more myself. Now, I don't want to go back where I'm at, so I'll never make Make those decisions again but at the same time I want to move forward with my dreams and these are all part of my dreams and I want to know from you guys what do you think of those dreams do you think I should change add subtract what do you guys think do you guys always are helping me through are you going to be excited when I do all this stuff do you want to be part of the podcast VIP room do you want to come down and do the swimming with experiences you know what are you excited about let me know it on a comment and also tell me Am I messed up? Is there something wrong with me? Or am I just uh, a little bit unique and uh, a, a little crazy? You know how that goes. Regardless, I want to know from you guys what you think about everything. And you know, there's not a dream that I can succeed with without having such an amazing wife like Lori on board. So Lori, are you as excited as I am about this, this whole uh, dream? What dream? The dream of 3.0 and the... the the Colubrid room and the new Caledonia room and podcast room and podcast VIP opportunity and all that type of stuff. Okay, I'm not sure about half of what you just said because it's all news to me. Well, you should watch the vlog. I think you're going to really <laughs> love it. I think you're going to be really, really excited when you hear the vlog. <laughs> all right, I think I better go back and watch some vlogs so I can have an opinion on this. So, but it's going to be amazing, right? Are you excited about the jelly tank, the piranha tank, and the touch tank? What? The jelly tank, the piranha tank, and the touch tank. Jelly tank? We're making jelly? Jellyfish tank. Jelly. <laughs> Jellyfish. All right, you know what? How far back do I have to watch? Because I don't think so. You don't think so what? Uh, this is a lot of stuff. Don't worry. When we don't. bust out the floor, the floor <laughs> oh, part is the Don't big. worry. Don't Bust out the floor. Yeah, the floor has to go two feet deeper. <laughs> Seriously, that's the You have thing. literally lost your mind. So two feet deeper so that the, the ceiling is a little higher, okay? How about we make it six feet deep so I can bury your ass under it? Because that's what's going to happen. Your, your support is... All right. Her support is so much to me. It's I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. And getting to experience animals like Ivy and all the animals here every day is what drives the passion and the kind of uh, insanity I have for continuing to expand this dream of mine. And I hope that you guys will join me for this and uh, don't think I'm too crazy if you guys did enjoy this. Here's a playlist of me building the Reptarium if you guys want to check that out. Up in this corner right here, you can subscribe to my podcast channel. The podcast room is coming along. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Please turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to somebody and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.